Hey, yo, listen, I had no idea that Bill Gates had a daughter. I ain't going to lie, but to find out that his daughter was out here catching straight BBC work is actually surprising. So look at this. Bill Gates' daughter, Phoebe Gates, and her impressive boyfriend, Robert Ross, the tech entrepreneur and fellow student at Stafford University, have broken up. Now, unfortunately, they broke up. But my man was out here punishing billion-dollar coochie, dog. I got to give it to you, son. I got to give it to you. You know what I'm saying? Because, listen, that's the thing. Let me let me tell y'all something. As a man, see, me, all right? I don't know about these other niggas because I be hearing how these other niggas be out here working these women for, for their resources. As a man, I don't care about how much money a, a, a girl got, bro. You know what I'm saying? That, that's, that's one of the main differences between men and women, right? A man... For the most part, don't care. He'll 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 get a bum if she if she's his piece. Most women want a man that got something going on for him, or at least the potential. You know what I'm saying? Most niggas will take a shorty that has nothing going on for her, but if she makes him feel a certain way, she's a one. Women don't be wanting no no you know what I'm saying no bum like a man. I can as a man, a man could be like, yeah, I wife a Jane for and McDonald's. I don't care if she's my piece. A woman can don't even want to say that out her own mouth. But let me just go ahead. Let me let me say this. It's a lot of black women that's gonna look at this and be like, they don't even give a damn. They see this black man with a white woman, princess warm chocolate, talking about you. You know what I'm saying? They don't even want to see it. They don't even want to condone it. But listen, let me ask you, how do you feel about it with her being a billionaire, man? Does it change anything? Does it change anything for you? You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you feel about that? I see. I had to say, man, my man, getting that work in, bro. Like, you putting on, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, how many niggas can say they did this? Not saying that getting with your shorty should be some, you know, on some like, yeah, I, I got to do this and y'all didn't. But come on, bro. You talking about Bill Gates' daughter, bro. Come on, man. How would you feel if your son was messing with a white woman and it was Bill Gates' daughter? You know what I'm saying? Because that's next level, dog. I'm not going to lie. I'm surprised about that. But let, let's just go ahead and read these comments. A little bit of comments. Before we do that, a thousand subscribers by Halloween, man. We got a couple more days. You know what I'm saying? It is already October 23rd, so we got let we got about eight, seven, eight days until the 31st. A thousand subscribers, man! Come on, subscribe to my account. I know we can get to it, but let's go ahead and read these comments. Joey Tucker, I, I see. Hold on, off rip. I already knew this is where the comments was going to be going. I ain't read none of these comments. I knew this is where it was going. Getting those 400 years back, inch by inch, inch by inch. I ain't know his daughter was out here catching straight BBC work, man. Majestic drama. <laughs> he be all right. Bro was at Stafford. He gonna be rich regardless. Oh, God. Bro fumbled a generational bag. Stop saying, little bro. Hey, yo, listen, listen. Hey, you got chill, bro. Chill, bro. Bill Gates said he's not leaving them shit, LOL. Not on facts. He said, what, shorty? What? You brought a nigga in here? Don't be no fucking nigga. We wait. Imagine, imagine how Bill Gates felt if you know find out that that was his his daughter's dude. Look at this nigga, bro. I know this nigga Bill Gates probably like fuck no. You ain't coming to no family events. None of that shit. Keep that nigga out of my house. Oh God, all these white motherfuckers, bro. I'm telling you, don't be thinking these niggas ain't racist because a lot of them do be. I ain't saying them all because I met some cool ass white people. There's some cool ass white people. But a lot of these motherfuckers, especially the old motherfucking white people, be racist than a bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to read about three more comments. Fumbled the bag. I would have got her pregnant first night and changed my last name to Gates. God damn, Ray Money, you violent, cuz. You violent. You taking the Gates name? He said, for a couple B, I'm changing my name. <laughs> Hey, this nigga crazy, Ray Money Wallace. Hey, he said, give me the name, motherfucker. But hold on, let me see. Somebody explain it. NBA terms. Hey, what? What? Let, let me see somebody explain. Miles Bridges. Hey, listen, I'm not hip to no NBA work, so I don't know who Miles Bridges is. LMAO, comment of the day. So I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to go back. We got to go back. We got to go back. You sign a Supermax contract and immediately get injured. Then get kicked out of the league for a substance abuse. Now you can't even play overseas. You got to make basketball YouTube videos. God damn. That's the equivalent to fumbling Bill Gates. Yeah, I mean, listen, fumbling Bill Gates' daughter is like, I don't know, bro. Like, 
you might have to you might have to hold on to shorty at all costs, man. Not even saying because the money, like I said, man, most men don't even trip off of the money with shorties. Most men could take a woman off the off of that don't got nothing, a complete bum. As long as she his peace, dog. I'm telling you to be a man, peace is the key. I would force myself to make it work. I would have left her with a baby. Think I'm not finna secure me a check? Learn that from you woman. Oh, God. Y'all saying he fumbled the bag, but he probably dodged a bullet. Damn it, I was rooting for my boy, but you know what they say. Once you go black, you never go back, nigga. We out here. Steph Cordre, no brain in the industry. The things about the entertainment industry, you might not know, but I'm going to get you hip. Subscribe to my channel, man. A thousand subscribers. We almost there, man. If you watching it right now, subscribe to the channel. It's that simple. Subscribe, man. Go watch another video at the end of this, man. Like and comment. I am out.